Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and I have hauled myself up here and timed it just right. Oh, no. Someone coming. Okay, lay down this bit. One way system you see. Um, and I brought you here at this specific time to see one specific thing. Sorry. No. Oh This is specifically what I've come here to see because uh, anyone that knows me knows I love clocks. Oh, that doesn't work. And that's the pendulum there. And that bit up there is the regulator. original day it would have been wound up by hand with a great big cranking handle but now it's electric which gives for much more accurate timekeeping and more reliability but that's the ropes and weights and pulleys and everything for it and we have just under 10 minutes to wait so I will pause the video and we're going to see this striking. So this wheel, this flywheel will spin around when it starts to strike. And that takes you upstairs to where the bells are, which I will show you quickly. So we've got a few minutes. The bell tower are on top of the roof. If you want to see that one, you will have to watch the videos of St Mary's Church on my Facebook because I can hear the wind from here and I am not going up there in this. I've done it already anyway, so if it's nicer maybe tomorrow or Friday, I shall do it. that one too short arms are too short and there is your general gist <coughs> that's the outside bit which is all wired off now because of the birds that leads you up there out onto the roof You can hear the wind, more ropes and pulleys and cogs and everything. Clocks are very, very complicated instruments. And out here is the clock face, which I've got a filming of the church, so I'll get, well, I don't have to anymore. I can do it myself now. I can, <laughs> I can take a screen recording of that bit, so it'll become part of this. Right, I'm gonna pause you now, so we get enough time to see this strike and see you back downstairs go back downstairs in four minutes we have ten minutes to go do you know it's so windy you can kind of hear the, the bells humming if I was thinner I would have walked across there and around but I'm not oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
I made that just in time. Okay. And that was rather... That was quite loud, wasn't it? Right. and blocks and things from the old clock. A lot of restoration was done on it. So, I've heard it chime. And that, which was there earlier, has now lifted itself up because this is a weight-driven clock. The climb, the chiming mechanism is still weight-driven. But the, uh, the timekeeping is electrical now. That's the timekeeping regulator caller. So, let's turn this off. That's better. There it goes up to there. Um, that's where the bell ring is. Sorry about the light glare, guys and girls. I can't help that. But this is all uh, Sussex County Association of Camp Phonology which is bell ringing. I'm not an expert and I didn't know that one. I was informed about that the other day, what the proper term for a bell ringer is, a camp phonologist. So yeah, and I have, where did I put it? Yeah, I've got a proper ticket thing now, so I can come up to the, paid a little bit extra, so I can return to the church tower whenever I want, within a year. So that'll be good. I like it here. Right, everyone. I hope you all found that interesting. If not, tough G's. I ain't swearing a church, but there we are. And in a minute, you'll join me downstairs in the main body of the church to see the bell striking. Uh, sorry, the pendulum swinging, sorry. Right, take care all, and we'll see you downstairs. And there we are. <clears throat> there we are, ladies and gentlemen. The last part of our video is the great pendulum. There's something I want to show you quickly. And that great big long stick there is to push the pendulum and get that going. church and I shall be off. Alright everyone, hope you all found that interesting. Take care and see you soon.
And the very last piece of our video is that beautiful clock face. That's all right, cheers. It's okay, I'm pointing up at the tower, it's okay. I thought you were. All right, thank you. Thanks. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away. And I can't see who wrote that, but I've got to check. Oh, it's from the Bible, it's a Bible scene, a Bible phrase. Thank <laughs> you.